3D printing has the potential to really alter dramatically the procedures we use in reconstructive surgery. The technology is advancing at a pace that is surprising to all of us. So there's constant improvements in the ability to handle different types of materials. So the future really holds some exciting promise. In my work, we focus on the problem of bone loss, especially in situations that result in massive segments of bone having to be taken out. And this could result from either trauma, from infection, from cancer. We have been studying this problem for the better part of the last 15 years. We've been focusing on trying to understand the biology that limits bone growth in these situations. Um, and by understanding the biology, we can then begin to design solutions. 3D printing is a technology that allows you to take a digital model and create a physical model out of it. So this, for example, is a clinical case of a patient that had a benign tumor in her chin. We then fed it to the printer to produce a modified version where we now have physically removed in the margins around that tumor. Once we were able to do this, we went back to our digital model and then created a scaffold uh, that has the anatomy and the dimensions of the bone that we physically resected and actually printed it on a 3D printer to now perfectly fit and align with the bone of that patient. The 3D scaffold is designed to resorb away as the patient's own bone grows into the material. We've sort of long appreciated the role of a connective tissue that surrounds the normal bones uh, that is known as the periosteum. And those cells really have the characteristics of stem cells. We began to think about tissue engineering the periosteum. And that led to the development of a technology that we call stem cell sheets. To create a stem cell sheet, you would need to obtain some sort of a cell biopsy from the patient that could be from bone marrow, could be from fat. And when you have the stem cell sheets, you, you basically cover the 3D printed scaffold with them. And when you introduce them into the patient, they begin to integrate with the patient's healing environment, they begin to lay down new bone matrix. What 3D printing promises is patient-specific replacements of bone that, that match not only the geometry, but also the size, uh, and they're based on medical images. So in some sense, they are ushering in the era of personalized medicine in reconstructive surgery.